are you doing? It's time for another Learn With Us session. Oh, sorry, Beth. I just be walked in some of the latest Premiership rugby games. I have to say, there's been some great tries scored over the past couple of weekends. Well worth a watch. OK, OK, but it's time to press pause on that for now. You might get a chance to pick it up a little bit later on, though. <sighs> OK, OK. Right, let's get stuck into today's session, then. me you champions might have played a lot of rugby or perhaps you prefer watching it like me or you could even be a complete newbie to the game either way you've likely shared of tries being scored or tackles being made or passes being given am i right well i watch a lot of rugby in my time and i just love it i'm a, such a fan well did you know that fans aren't the only ones who watch rugby closely nick um, no, what do you mean? OK, so have you ever been watching a game and you see the people on their laptops in the stadium sat in the coach's box and sometimes they might be speaking into microphones or have earpieces to talk to one another? Ah, uh, you're talking about the analysts, aren't you? Analysts are the people who watch a game and figure out how many passes or tackles have been made and then they feed back to the team so they can improve. Yes, exactly. So today we're going to be sports analysts. Excellent, Beth. Nick Evans, sports analyst. I like it. Now, remember, if you're learning with us today, we'd love to hear from you. Please ask a grown up to tweet us at Prem Rugby and share what you've been up to using the hashtag Learn With Us. Remember, you always need an adult's permission if your photos go on online. And if you've missed any of the other Learn With Us sessions, you can catch up on demand by finding them on the Premiership Rugby YouTube channel. But before we learn, we need to get our bodies pumping with fitness expert, Coach Callum. Let's get our morning moves on. Thanks, Nick. Right, are you morning champions ready to get moving with another morning move session with me, Coach Callum? Because we like to move it, move it. We like to move it. Right. Our first exercise is rugby dummy kicks. So we're gonna run forward, and we're gonna to pretend to kick the ball, run back. We're gonna use both legs, okay? Is everyone ready to join in? Let's go, we've got 30 seconds of work now. Good. After this 30 seconds of work, we get 30 seconds of rest. Let's go. Everyone keep going. Good. Do some big kicks. Right, we've got 10 seconds to go. I want to see a big kick off each leg. Really big one. And a really big one. Good, everyone rest. Give those legs a little shake out. Have a little stretch. Our next exercise, gonna be running on the spot. Then we're gonna throw a big dummy. Yeah, we've done these before, so we should all be really good at throwing dummies by now. Is everyone ready? Take a few deep breaths. Let's go. Run on the spot. Real big dummy. Run on the spot. Real big dummy. Good. Keep going. Good. Throwing big dummies. Good. About 10 seconds to go. Honestly, two really big dummies now. And rest. Give those legs another shake out. Get ready for the next exercise. So next, we're gonna put the ball on the ground. Remember, if you've not got a ball, use your pillow or a pair of socks. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put one foot on the ball really gently, and then we're gonna swap legs. And we're just gonna keep swapping legs for the full 30 seconds. Yeah, everyone ready? Give it five seconds, four, three, Two, one, and one leg on, swap, swap. Keep going. If you get too tired, take a quick breather, stretch your hips off, and back in. We're we gonna see who's gonna go the fastest. On and off the ball. 
Yeah? Ready? 10 seconds to go. Keep going. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest. Right, we need to take a few deep breaths for this one. Right, is everyone ready for the final exercise? What we're going to do is we're going to sprint as fast as we can. We'll have a ball or a pillow in our hand. And what we're going to do, we're going to be sprinting. I'm going to keep moving the ball from one side, move it to the other, we're going to put it around our backs. Okay, is everyone ready? Deep breath. And let's go. We're sprinting, moving the ball around. We put it above our heads. We hold it in one hand, running, keep going, keep going. Good guys, keep it going. Swap it around, go around the back, through the legs, up, and swap it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, a knacker after that one. That was a really good morning move session, guys. It's back to Nick and Beth to see how what's in store for the rest of the session. Thanks, Coach Callum. Great session. So, Beth, talk to me. Sports analyst. I see them on their laptops, but what actually do they do? Well, Nick, sports analysts watch how their team plays and then they advise the coaches and the players on ways to improve based on what they've seen. Um, so let me get this right. They get paid. To watch rugby? Well, it is part of their job. Well, where do I sign up, Beth? It sounds like my dream job. Well, how about we find out a bit more about it then? Oh, yes, please. Come on. What is a sports or performance analyst? Sports analysts observe different sports like rugby and then feed back their findings to the coaches and teams so that they can improve and perform at their very best and hopefully win. On game day, sports analysts need to capture all of the actions happening on the pitch so that they can create playlists for each player. In rugby, these actions include things like tries, tackles and passes. Each player will then be shown how they did, including any mistakes they may have made, and they can then use this information to improve their performance in the next game. Analysts will also hold team sessions where players will be shown video footage of the game that they've played and they will then be given the opportunity to discuss how they played together as a team so that they can make plans to improve in the future. If you are a sports analyst, you will be responsible for doing things like recording matches and training sessions so that there is a video record of all the action which can be watched back later. Analysts also have to provide feedback to both individual players and also the team coaches. Analysts will put together all of the video footage on an individual player and will then go through it with them. Additionally, they will also edit live match day footage to produce post-match statistic reports. A sports analyst will interpret, analyse and present data to lots of different people. This can even include watching the opposition's previous games and writing a report so that the coaches can use this to plan their tactics for the game. Exciting stuff. The role of a sports analyst is a busy one for sure, and they play a really important role in the success for the team. Wow! Who knew sports analysts had so much to do? I think I'd better get practising my sports analyst skills. Well, I'm glad you said that, Nick, as to date, that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, you know earlier when you were watching rugby? Yeah, when you made me pause it. OK, well, now it's time for us to actually watch some rugby. So check out this clip of some rugby action. Oh, this recycled well. Smith, a little bit of time. Off that right hand, finds Brown. Brown, the fend on Proctor to our no, 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 shoulder no, 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 no. Downs his man, Lorde. Ribbons is temporarily interested in trying to strip the ball. Evans tried to go, couldn't reset. Baldwin, all oh, that temporarily interested Grayson. Now he's out of position, and Quinns are behind them. 
They're going again. Nathan Earl inside. Danny Kerr. That's Back fine. to Nathan Earl. Nathan Earl into the corner. More superb interplay from Harlequins. So what did you just see then, Nick? Um, Beth, surely you don't need me to tell you that. It was a great try, wasn't it? Okay, it was a great try, but did you notice anything else? Um, not really. What else was there to see? They scored the try. Well, yeah, but could you tell me how many passes were made or how many tackles? Um, well, actually, now you mention it. Um, can we re watch that footage and I'll try and count how many tackles and passes there were? Sure. Now get your sports analyst head on, and a great way to keep count would be to use a tally chart. Ah, uh, yes. So I could put tackles on one side and passes on another to mark them down when I see them happening. Yes, perfect. So let's watch that footage again. Oh, this recycled well. Smith, a little bit of time. Off that right hand, finds Brown. Brown, the fend on Proctor. Two arms. No, 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 no. Downs his man. Lord A. Ribbons is temporarily interested in trying to strip the ball. Evans tried to go, couldn't reset. Baldwin, all oh, that temporarily interested Grayson. Now he's out of position and Quinns are behind them. They're going again. Nathan Earl inside. Danny Kerr. That's Back fine. to Nathan Earl. Nathan Earl into the corner. More superb interplay from Harlequins. I nailed it that time, Beth. I noted down every tackle and every pass I saw on my tally chart. So why don't you champions try comparing your tally chart to mine? Well done, Nick. That's a great start to your sports analyst career. Now, in a real game, the analyst would speak to the coaches and let them know what they saw so that the coaches could make some decisions to make the team even more successful. But that's not all that they do. Ah, OK. Um, what do you mean, then, Beth? Well, as well as watching and breaking down games, they also analyse players during the week to help improve their core skills in the build up to a game. OK. So that could be things like uh, improving tackling or running or even passing or catching. Yeah, Nick. So all of the essential rugby skills and analysts can help players and coaches to identify which skills need developing. So that's the next challenge for our champions at home. Right, champions at home, you're going to need a tennis ball or something similar for this activity. You might also want to draw the table on the next screen to help you record your results. We'll give you three minutes to find something suitable and make your table. If you need longer, you can always press pause and join us again when you're ready. And remember to move around your house safely and ask a grown-up for help if you need it. Right, morning champions. Hopefully you've got your ball ready for this session. So we're going for underarm throws and catches. And we're going to count how many we can do in 30 seconds. Everyone ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't worry if you drop it, just pick it straight back up. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. And stop there. I did 23. How many did you guys manage to do? Right, now we're going to do the other hand for 30 seconds. Everyone ready? Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Don't forget to count how many you do with your other hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16. 10 seconds to go. And stop there. I did 18 off this hand. How many did you guys do? Don't forget to go and write it down 
and ba head back over to Nick and Beth. Wow, Beth, I really enjoyed that activity. It was fun, wasn't it? I managed to complete 21 catches with my right hand, but only 17 with my left. That's 38 in total. Some great maths there, Nick. Okay, so what does that tell you about your catching skills? Um, well, it does kind of suggest that my left hand catching isn't quite as good as my right hand catching, but I did drop a ball, so that wasted a little bit of my time. OK, I can see why that would make a difference. Now, if you champions at home wanted to take your sports analyst skills to the next level, you could try repeating the experiment four or five times, recording your results every time. And then once you have all of the results recorded, you could calculate the average for a more realistic and accurate result. Oh, that's a great idea, Beth. Um, do you mean, though, in a table like this? Oh, yes, Nick. OK, so I can see from your table that you plan to repeat your experiment four times in total and you've done it once already. Then all you'll have to do is calculate the average catches for each hand. Yes, Beth, you're right. And to calculate the average, you just need to add up all of the right hand catches and then divide by four as we repeated the experiment four times. Brilliant. Champions at home, you can be top sports analyst too and give this a whirl. I think I'm heading towards a new career now. Nick Evans, Premiership Rugby Sports Analyst. Champions at home, make sure you finish your table and calculate the averages for your experiment. Remember to share your sports analyst findings with us on Twitter at Prem Rugby using the hashtag Learn With Us. We hope you've enjoyed this Premiership Rugby Champions Learn With Us session today. 
And don't forget, you can watch all the previous sessions on demand on our YouTube channel. And remember, champions at home, stay home, stay safe and learn with us.